It's on. It's on. Okay. So. All right. So I'm here with Mr. Ashniku, aka Eunice Chemistry God, um, to explain the polarity of molecules as only best he can. Um, so we're going to start with the molecular geometries of the tetrahedral. So um, can you start by explaining to us what polarity means? What does that mean with molecules? Um. Well, it depends on two things before I define it. One is on electronegativity of element, and then on the shape of element. So polarity versus, if something is polar versus non-polar, polar means the charges are not distributed equally. If I'm more electronegative than you, and you're shaking hand, I will pull your hand more toward me, and this makes us polar. Mm -hmm. This side of the molecule, which is me, is negative, and right. your side is positive. Mm -hmm. If we go to tetrahedral, and the shape is important, and, and students have tendency to draw it as a plus sign, mm. but they should respect that it is three-dimensional. Right. And if you look at something like methane, carbon with four hydrogen, they have equal pool on the shared electrons. So a species like this is non-polar. Right. As soon as you change one of them, then for example, if you put a chlorine, then the shape is symmetrical, but the pool of chlorine will be on one side, and it makes this side of the molecule negative, and the other side is positive. So with this one, where we have all of these hydrogens, um, and we have the pull of the carbon being more electronegative, are we saying that all the way around the outside of this molecule is slightly positive? Is um, that what we're saying? You can say that, but uh, actually their electronegativity is so similar that they really cancel each other out. But okay. even if that's the case, there is equal pull or push within the central element that this molecule is non-polar. There is no negative or positive end to it. Right. It's just if you put it between a magnet, it just flows through. Okay, so, no, so no negative or positive end. So kind of like, um, like a battery would have a negative and a positive end, that would be polar. That's perfect. But when you don't have a negative and a positive end, then you're non-polar. You're non-polar. Okay. Just like a battery you said. So this is negative pole. And, and then this would be the positive, the positive end. Pole. So there are two ends, one that's negative and one that's one positive, positive, and that makes it polar. That makes it polar. Right. Now, if you change another one into chlorine or fluorine. Mm -hmm. Now the students have tendency to draw it as a plus and they say they cancel each other out and it's non-polar. But it's, it's actually very polar. Mm -hmm. Now you have two chlorine, let's say in green, and two hydrogen in white. So the green side is negative and the white side is the positive end. Right. So you have the two poles of battery or you're very polar. Right, and then that would be the same for this one because in three dimensions, at this end, if these were chlorine, they would all be slightly negative, exactly. and this would be slightly positive. positive. So we've got two ends, that like kind of like a battery, like a positive and a negative end. Exactly. Okay, great. Um, so that handles all the tetrahedrals. What about if we have something like a trigonal pyramidal? Is this, that this is even easier to sort of look at because now the shape is not symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So it has three bonds of hydrogen, and this represents a lone pair. So this is something we call asymmetrical. So no matter what, usually asymmetrical, especially trigonal pyramidal for sake of students, you can remember as polar, mm -hmm. because the nitrogen in blue is the negative end and the hydrogens are positive. Right, okay. So this is... So it's like, that's NH3, right? That's NH3. Okay, and so the nitrogen is slightly negative up here, the hydrogen is slightly positive down there. Down there. Again, two ends. Of kind of opposite charges exactly. and makes it polar. And a polar molecule. All right then. Okay, so three molecules attached to the central atom could also be trigonal planar. So it is trigonal planar, planar because it's flat. Right. Now, if all of them are identical, this is a symmetrical shape that whether you pull on the central or push in, you cancel each other out. So it's non-polar. Mm -hmm. As soon as you change one of them to another atom, for right. example, if you put hydrogen, then you become polar. Although the shape is, shape is symmetrical, but now you have two different ends. This end is negative and the white end is the positive. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, so the two ends kind of like we've been discussing with the other shapes as well. Okay, all right, moving on then. Um, if we have a bent structure, I'm trying to show here with these, the lone pairs a little bit more obvious. Um, 
dentists would this, that also be polar then? that's polar it's same mentality as trigonal pyramidal mm. it's it's a asymmetrical it's not a symmetrical shape this yeah. end is totally different from the long purse mm -hmm. so water is extremely polar because of that fact right and so the hydrogens here must be slightly positive because the oxygen is more electronegative, more electronegative. pulling the electrons exactly. towards it okay cool so then when we get to linear is linear is it always non-polar or is it, is it like the others is it always one way or another it, so. it depends what you have at each end for example if you look at co2 carbon mm. being black and imagine oxygens are blue mm. they're pulling equally on this carbon Right. Both sides are are negative, but <clears throat> since the pull is equal, no end of this molecule is positive or, or negative. So right. it's very non-polar. Okay. But if you have something like carbon with nitrogen and a hydrogen, then the story changes. The nitrogen end is the negative and the hydrogen is positive. So this right. becomes very polar. Right, okay. So so this because we have the two atoms on either side with equal electronegativities, is equal, equal, same charge, they cancel each not other polar, out. cancel each other out. Right. But in this case, two different atoms, two different electronegativities. B one side is being negative permanently. Right, the, the nitrogen end. The nitrogen. And then the hydrogen end would be slightly, slightly positive, positive, the nitrogen end slightly negative. Exactly. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>